We've taken a position with Senator Bob Casey's amendment here when it comes to the payroll tax cut that it is not unreasonable to ask that the wealthiest people in America, the top 1% in America, pay a little bit more in taxes so that we don't add to our deficit. Unfortunately, some Republicans oppose that. The push for a payroll tax extension has Senate Democrats on the offensive, putting plans on the table, but unable to find the support needed from the other side of the aisle to close the deal. Senator Robert Casey is chairman of the Joint Economic Committee. He introduced the Democrats' original plan to extend the payroll tax holiday and joins me now. Senator, it's nice to see you this morning. Thank you. Well, you pushed the plan on the Senate floor to keep that payroll tax cut cash in the pockets of middle class Americans. Now, Leader Harry Reid has this proposal. Are you hearing anything from the other side, from Republican lawmakers, that there's a desire to find a, comprom a compromise and get a clear way to get there? Yes, I've heard a lot of uh, folks on both sides wanting to work together to make sure that we cut the payroll tax this year as we did last year. I'd like to do more than just extend it. In other words, the 6.2 down to 4.2 as we did last year, we should cut it in half. That would help our workers and our families at a time when the economy uh, is in need of another kickstart or jumpstart. But I think there's broad bipartisan support for an extension, but I hope we could do more than that. And I also hope we can come together in a bipartisan way so that we can put uh, a lot more dollars in, in folks' take-home pay, especially as they head into the holiday season and get ready for a new year. Senator, for Americans out there listening to this that may glaze over when they hear about bipartisanship in Washington, D.C., we do keep hearing generic statements from lawmakers, from pundits, that the payroll tax cut extension is going to get done. But the latest proposals still have both sides really far apart on this. So is this going to be another last-minute compromise, something that continually frustrates the American people who are watching closely to see how this all comes down? Well, here's what I hear from, from uh, folks in Pennsylvania. They say to me two things, and they've said this for many, many months now. Work on job creation strategies to the exclusion of almost everything else. Focus on jobs. And secondly, work together. We're trying to do that. This is difficult. This is not easy to do, but it's essential that we bring folks together so we can provide some certainty to 100 160 million Americans. I think it's the right thing to do at the end of this year. We know that when we did this in the past, it had a tremendous impact on job growth. I think we can come together and do it again. It's, that might mean that it might take a while. It may not happen today or tomorrow. It may take a while, but we've got to we've got to stay at it. Compromising and work, working together is the way this place should work. And sometimes it takes some time to bring folks together.